a beautiful dress on that became sort of a staple. It was, uh, people loved it, and Baron and we're walking down the street. But where it really got amazing, we get to the White House, and now it's a little bit, a uh, little bit before dark, beautiful. And we went up to the president's quarters, they call them the presidential quarters, and I'm standing in this beautiful hallway. I, you know, it's funny, nobody ever talks about the White House as being beautiful inside. You know, you think it's going to be, everything's going to be all metal doors and stuff. It's not. It's so beautiful. I made my money largely on luxury. The hallway is like 25 feet wide. The ceiling heights are, you know, every, it's so beautiful. But I was standing there and I said to the guys, I want to see the Lincoln bedroom. I had never seen the Lincoln bedroom. I'd heard about the Lincoln bedroom. And I was standing with my wife. I said, do you believe it? This is the Lincoln bedroom. I mean, it was like, it was, it was amazing. Because it's, look, if you love the country, but here you are, the Lincoln bedroom. And the bed, you know, he was very tall. He was six foot six, which then would be like, like Baron. Right. <laughs> it would be like Baron <laughs> Trump. He's six nine. But six foot six, he was very tall. Then on top of that, he wore... There it is. He wore that. Yeah, there it is. It's a long bed, elongated bed. And because very, you know, people were shorter than... You see some of the uh, chairs are very, very low to the ground, actually. But he had the long bed. And they had... Uh, you had the Gettysburg Address right on that, right under that. You can't see it here, but... Right there, the original version of the Gettysburg Address. And this is the original. And I'm looking, and I just looked around. I said, do you believe this? Because I was never a politician. First of all, even if you were a politician, but I was never a politician. It just I sort of just started, right? right. And all of a sudden, I'm standing in the White House. And it was uh, very, very surreal. That room was so beautiful to me, much more beautiful than it actually is. You know, to me, when I looked at the bed... And the bed, you could see it was a little bit longer, had to be a little bit longer. Uh, he lost his son, and they suffered, the two of them suffered from melancholia. They didn't call it depression. Uh, they called it melancholia, and they suffered from it. He was a very depressed guy, and she was a very depressed woman, more so than him. And on top of that, they lost their son, whose name was Ted, Ted. And uh, it was uh, just seeing it in the little pictures, a little tiny picture. I mean, you can't see the details there. Little tiny, everything the way it was, a little tiny picture of Tad, who he lost, and it was devastating. And he was, you know, he was, a, a, look, he was in a war. He was, he was, and he was having a hard time because he couldn't beat Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee won like 13 battles in a row. And he was getting like a phobia, like a fighter, you know, a mm -hmm. lot about the fight stuff. But like, I went to a UFC fight, and it was a champion who was 14 and one about a year ago. You would know the names. 14 and one. And the only guy he lost to was this one guy. But the guy that he was fighting was like almost just an average fighter. He lost numerous times, but he beat this one guy. So I said, okay. I'll, I really don't know who you're talking about. I'm trying I, to... I, I will figure it out. Okay. But about a year ago. But the point is that he lost. He wasn't nearly the fighter. As the, but the one who was not nearly the fighter had beaten. He's the only guy that beat the, the champ mm -hmm. like five years before. And I said, I'll take the guy that won the other fight. And that's what happened. He beat him a second time. Sometimes uh, Lincoln, psychological advantages. You know, what is this yeah. crazy thing? Uh, Lincoln had a, uh, I don't know. I've never read this. I heard it from people in the White House who really understand what was going on with with the whole life of the White House. But Lincoln had uh, the yips about, uh, in a way, as the golfers would say. He had mm. a phobia about Robert E.